Yeah. So I was saying hopefully everything's working and I forgot to unmute the I I made sure it wasn't the actual microphone wasn't muted. It was still muted on there. Anyway, let's try this again. Um, I said a bunch of stuff. Hello. Welcome to week two BVL season two. I have to repeat everything I said. Well, all I really said, um, all I really said was we are waiting for the hurricane and you guys are waiting for me to get in the call but it's okay i'm trying to i'm trying to set things up first i'm gonna type to frenzy where are you definitely not frenzy okay i'm just giving a little the lowdown here on the hurricane because it's been taking forever to get here it was supposed to get here by tonight well originally it was supposed to be here today now it's supposed to be tomorrow morning, I guess. So, um, unfortunately for the Bahamas, it's kind of stagnated over there. But the, the interesting thing is it's moved very slow. It started over the Bahamas, over the Grand Bahama Island or whatever it's called, um, on one end of it, and it's at the other end of it now. And that, that was that's over, like, I think 24 hours or so. It's not, uh, yeah, it's not going very fast. The, the interesting thing about it, which is what I was just about to talk about, th they're saying that, because obviously they were, they were predicting that the hurricane's going to turn, and it's just going to kind of scrape the east coast of Florida. So apparently the last thing I heard was, because of the fact that it's stalled so much, that they're hoping that that's an indicator that it's going to turn even more east, so that should put a, even more buffer between the coast of Florida and the eye of the hurricane, that's the latest. I mean, we're still gonna get hit with probably the outer bands, but the farther away it stays, the better. Anyway, that's the that's the current, that's the latest that we know. It's probably gonna hit Georgia and the Carolinas as well. Um, but, but yeah, there's a bunch of like interacting pressure systems, whatever, that are supposed to affect the direction it goes. But supposedly the, the slow land speed that it has right now is an indication that it should turn farther east than they were expecting before. Anyway, the farther east, probably the better, at least for our area here. Anyway, that's the situation. So currently everything's good. It's been, it started to get rainy like into this evening, um, but nothing too terrible yet. Of course, as time goes on, we'll definitely experience some of the force winds and the rain and everything. But um, I think that will be, well, if it does go the projected route, M who knows, maybe we'll lose power. I kind of hope not, but we should be okay from most of the major damage. There will probably still be a lot of rain and flooding, probably some minor damage. I'm hoping it's minor. Anyway, let's just, everybody keep your fingers crossed. Let's hope and pray and however you want to make sure that it stays east. Also, because that means it's just farther away from land in general. Just go back out in the middle of the Atlantic and fizzle out. And unfortunately, it kind of needs land to make it die sooner. Anyway. So Nitra says there's a thingy coming south that should drive it east if it waits a bit. Yeah, I think I saw something to that effect. Um, the fact that it's turning at all, but if it waits there, I guess I guess that's um, I guess that's why they were saying. Well, if it's going that slow, then I guess that gives it more chance to be pushed away. Anyway, here's hoping um, I, I could keep you guys up to date as I know more, provided that I don't lose power and internet. If you don't hear from me, you know that's why, but I'll probably be okay just without power or internet. Anyway, that's enough of that. That's a little just where we are right now. We're going to get into our BVL Season 2 battles. Let me go ahead and get in this voice chat. Hello? Hell yeah, what's up? All right, so, so we are in, we're in voice chat now. And we're going to just get right uh, started here with our first match. We have... Do I have these backwards? I do have these backwards. I never swapped the sides. And I can't I can't swap which side I'm watching, I don't think. Maybe once I get started. Let me do some quick live editing here. I had this... I, I'm telling you, I did all this work to set up in advance. To make sure that it, everything was on the right side. And then I... I messed up on the first one. I think all the other ones are in the right spot, though. All right, now we're ready to go. I have my stats. Wait, where's my stats? 
I'm gonna put that here. I'm gonna try to lower the, the unfortunately it's a big white spreadsheet, so I'm gonna try to lower the brightness so it doesn't completely flush out my face on the webcam. Um, Max Marzen, if you're referring to this league specifically, it's because I'm far more interested in, in running this league and it's for my viewers and it's for, you know, they're going to win prizes and stuff. Um, I've participated in other leagues before and in fact, um, not to spoil anything because really I don't know, nothing is confirmed, but I may be getting back into that if the opportunity presents itself. Maybe if the timing's right. Anyway, I got my stats up here. I'm going to try to update in, the re in real time. Um, Obviously, I have that Google Doc that keeps track of the team stats. I'm not going to be editing that one because I need uh, this window open. I'm going to edit it on my computer, and after the stream, I'll update it for you guys so you can check out everybody's stats. Before we press play on this match, um, let me update who we have on who each team brought today. So let's start with the... It is the Massachusetts Mimigues versus the Denver Dark Rise, if I... If I forgot to say that before, because I was too preoccupied with the logos being on the wrong side. So, let me find Massachusetts Mimicues. Let's see, who do you have? We have... Wait, which one did I do? This? Wait. I have to copy whichever color this is. Scizor. Mimikyu and... Stakataka, Wishy Washy, right down the line. Keldio, and who else? Zorark. Is that everybody? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. And on the other side, we have. What did I say? Denver Dark Rise? Where is your. There you are. Um, let's see. So we have Heatran. And Crocodile. And Obama Snow, Blacephalon, Dredigan, Fortress. Was that all? Three, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. We're ready to go now. I'm going to try to keep track of this while uh, this is going on. Let's see what we have here. Again, I have not watched any of these, so no spoilers if anybody has. We're going to see what's going on. Staka, taka, 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 taka. That. Okay, so we got to burn right out the gate. It doesn't matter. The stone edge is still plenty. I don't get, like, uh... I don't get this play. I don't follow it. Um, Like, you have Fortress in the back. I don't get why you needed to sack Blacephalon turn one. Wait, how do you... Do you know how to get a boot attack punch? Like, that frantic to... I don't know. No, I have a thought. It's cool. Okay, so I missed the... I'm pretty sure there's... Earth power on this heat trend. I don't get why Lava was Plume was the play. Oh yeah, Earth Power would have. Is that just that? That probably would have picked oh, up stack attack. Oh yeah, you have to disconnect them from your phone. Yeah. That's yeah. the only annoying part about this. Someone's got background noise. Yeah. Yeah. Someone, someone doesn't that. use push to talk. Woo. <clears throat> just gonna serve a mute them for a second until they figure out their thing. Yeah. All right, so let's see. We've got Wishy Washy uh, versus Dredigan. The Dragon Tail happened. We got Scizor in here now. Did he think that was enough to finish it off? I don't know. I guess could that have I finished? I don't get him why off? you. I don't get why you left Dredigan in here though. Like, why would you? Earthquake's not doing anything. You have Heatran and Fortress in the back. Yeah, Scizor is pretty bulky. It would. It wouldn't be worth. I don't know. Even. Well, I guess he didn't... Doesn't Dragon usually get Fire Punch? It does, but wasn't running at this game. Yeah. Because I built the team. And uh, but yeah, the Quake so... Service stack. And then that was an odd switch with Crocodile. I, at first I was expecting him to bring in Crocodile because he had Intimidate, but he didn't. So it wasn't even that. Yeah. He could have just brought in Hatred and then just like... Oh. I don't get why he didn't. I don't know, man. Yeah, it seemed like a safe play there. Alright, this the crit secret sword. Oof. 
And that's a double KO, but uh, Obama Snow still gets the KO on Keldeo. It's a 3 2. No one gets the kill because Obama Snow took it so far, right? Um, yeah. No one gets Obama Snow, the kill for Obama Snow, but Obama Snow still gets the kill for Keldeo. Yeah. <clears throat> this is pretty much where the game ends. Like, there's nothing you can do because with Ocephalon stacked. He has no scuff or speed control, so yeah, uh, yeah. Just yeah, I mean he lost his main offenses, and he actually lands the focus blast, so that's fun. Yeah. All right, GG. Let me while I update this, just so it's not so boring. Let me play this again at I don't know normal or fast speed. I'll play. I'll see how how it takes at normal speed. I'm gonna. Just so you guys can watch it again while I update everything. I think I kept track of everything just fine. Um, that was a plus three, if I remember correctly. So we had two KOs for Scizor, for Massachusetts Mimikyu's, one for Stakataka, and two for Zoroark. For Denver Dark Eyes, one KO for Heatran, one for Obama Snow, and one for Fortress. Which means both teams are now sitting at one and one. Mm. All right, let's play this on fast. Um, let's see. Current MVP of Denver Dark Rise is still Blacephalon, and current MVP of Massachusetts Mimikyu's is still Mimikyu. So that did not change. In terms of totals, Denver Dark Rise sitting at zero points, and Massachusetts Mimikyu is sitting at two. Disconnect. What? All right, so. Yeah, is it still background noise? Static noise. Yeah. All right, so that's going to do it then. So once again, the Massachusetts Mimikyu's take the W for the week against the Denver Dark Rise. We're going to go ahead and switch over to our next 